Hi guys, I'm Philip. So today I'm gonna teach you about uh, modular two. Okay, how to design bedroom. Okay, bedroom design. Okay, in here we will teach you how to use about wardrobe. This function, wardrobe custom. Okay, and the model from crowd also will help you teach you how to decorate also. Okay, so follow me first. Okay, first we hide uh, all the unwanted things. Okay. So this one are second floor, right? Like I told you guys, oh, remember? Like I told you guys, this one are second floor. Okay, so we're gonna design here. Because it's a room, so does not make it different also. Okay, we're gonna design here. Okay. Uh, okay, first we're gonna build, uh, learn how to build this wardrobe. Lah, or using customized wardrobe. Okay, so you can click on here wardrobe. Okay, then uh, we drag the frame first. Lah. First, we drag a frame first. Okay. Okay, this is the frame. Maybe here I will do another uh, different pattern, different type of pattern. So should be fine. Uh, here two six one right. I will need to build one four hundred also. So I will use. Calculator, use the calculator. Uh, four hundred minus two six one. Okay, so equal one three nine one hundred thirty nine. Here I will minus one hundred thirty nine minus one hundred thirty nine. Okay. Here will become four hundred. So here I will put one this one. Okay. Uh, basic unit. I just put one unit here. So here you can put back uh, anything you like. Okay. Uh, this one we can change it to four hundred. Okay. Sometimes the computer cannot read. Never mind. Okay, we can change it. And this one the size I'll follow back here six hundred. So this one will make it six hundred uh -huh. Okay. So here later we can put some back and things. So this one, uh, you may need to follow the height also. Uh, this one two one zero zero, right? We make it two one zero zero. Also, okay. Two one zero zero. Okay, because later I need to do cornice, so it will be convenience. Okay, then you can just drag again this one while we point on here. Okay, it will automatic fit. Okay, you see here got eight hundred, six hundred, and etc. But I drag this one. Uh, this one is adjustable. Okay. So once we drag already, we're gonna put panel as usual. So you can just right click on the unit, then click add function part. So in here you may just click on the this one, find the panel. Okay, simply drag one panel. Okay, maybe I'll drag this one. No, this one. Drag here but first. Just put there. I need to teach you how to move it. Okay. So let's say this one, the panel are in here, the center, but I want to make it center. So here the number are different. So I'm just right click, evenly divide. So you can choose number one. Uh, then here will become even. Okay. It will become even. Okay. So still up to you guys. Okay. If you want two, three port are uh, evenly, you can also right click, evenly divide three. You can see the panel. Each of them are same distance. How can see same distance? Okay. So we can delete it. Delete it. Okay. And here this one we right click uh, also uh, how you can do something the same thing. Add function part here. Just drag the shelf board. Okay. If let's say you want glass, okay, or maybe I'll make it glass. So I choose glass panel. Okay, uh, maybe this one, choose the glass panel. Or oh, this one are different. This one is vertical, so I drag this one laminate. Okay, so automatic fit already. Then we just right click, evenly divide. Uh, maybe this one I put four, so I can put back and put like thing here. Okay, so still up to you guys at huh? Okay, and here maybe uh here I will put some clip hanger. Okay, then you can know where to get it. Right click, add function part only. Everything are here. Everything inside the cabinet you may use right click add function part. Okay.
okay so please remember lah. and here is the hanging class you can just drag okay so maybe I'll just drag one of the hanging glass here I'll maybe drag this one black color okay yeah I simply put uh, 100 okay drag another uh, different back than the one I drag back the same thing so up to you guys how you can put any oh okay this is the good hanger remember where you get it up oh here you can divide with drawer or anything okay like this one you can put drawer okay let's say i put a drawer okay, okay. okay you can get the drawer from here oh you can just drag it out the drawer then you can adjust it all the size okay everything i here size you can adjust it then you just put a banner on top also can okay put a banner on top okay simple as that okay but uh, i don't want to use this method lah because i'm lazy so i'm gonna use this one combination storage okay here got a lot of option uh, simply see which one uh, suitable then just drag it uh, this one i like this one okay just drag it it will be fine okay coming up uh we're gonna be on top lah. also for the top here a very simple also uh, okay because i got uh my my wall my wall height shall be three thousand uh, although i got two story here never mind uh, okay later we can use the ceiling to adjust it okay so don't worry about that okay we come to here we put the top cabinet first uh. okay so my cabinet, this one is 2100. So maybe I put a hard cabinet on top here. I think. Okay, after that, just change the size. Like, as you can see, this one are 400, right? I just added 400. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna do the, this one called cornice. Like. You can come to here on this on top okay but first uh, before we do that we need to do some calculation so we can see elevation is this one to here is 2100 this one the cabinet i put 600 so we left 300 only uh, because the wall height i usually for one room is 3000 uh, i put okay so we put here uh we create the cornice need to be 300 uh. never mind just create it later ceiling will cover also okay so you may you may need to click this button cornice cornice okay so here you see purple color is the black it's at the back okay so usually uh, if your back have pattern then you can use green color is the front so this one will be the front uh, important one uh, where we can see blue color is the area you cover okay so for cornice things right we have three important thing need to be need to be concerned this one model material and the height okay so we first choose the model so usually i will choose a normal one normal model okay and this one i will choose the this one called material usually i just choose white color for uh, match ceiling so we will just go for white color right okay just select it only and here the height right usually i put 300 to, for the rest lah. then later how much the ceiling drop down to cover up to myself okay so i'll put 300 okay after that done already click ok uh, you can see something like this okay so later ceiling will come down cover it okay and now we're gonna continue here for the sliding door okay guys for sliding door for sliding door you can click on here okay the frame okay make sure you click on the frame not this one or if you click on the unit then little sliding door will create in the unit please make sure you click on the frame then you right click so you can come to this one called what uh, uh, sliding door generation okay just right click only we have a lot of button are using right click okay so after that you may see this one you simply choose one of the sliding door uh, maybe i choose this one the adjustable one this one adjustable one. okay some of the sliding door you can do like this okay so this one is the sliding door setting okay you can choose 
overlay or embedded or you can just play with the button and this one is the door number you can add or decrease okay and which door uh, leave position up to you you can see the different door. okay but never mind you can press O to open also O for close okay button O orange okay this one is the frame you can choose the frame color and choose another style okay and now I'm going to teach you how to edit the style so you can right click on the sliding door you may see this one called sliding door lift edit you can click on it okay lift edit so maybe this one the button uh, some of the them I uh, want to make it different so this one is h3 h2 and h1 okay so maybe h1 I want to make it like 300 okay so you can see they have changing on 300 Okay, maybe H2, I'll make it lesser, 500, something like this. Oh, and this one, I'll make it 400. So eventually, the rest number will go for here lah, because rest H1, I set already. So maybe H1, I set 3, 4, 5. This one, I'll make it 600. Lah. Okay. Still up to you guys, huh? you want to edit how? Okay, so you click OK. So if you want to apply all the scheme same, you can just right click, sliding door, all same style. Uh, then they were all same style. Okay. So coming up, I'm gonna teach you how to change the material. Okay, you can just right click on the wall. You may see this one called all material. In here, you can select cabinet material. So maybe you choose any material you want so I'll maybe choose something dark brown brown oh. okay so you can see all the uh, cabinet have changed material you know you can press all C to check okay press all to close all the thing okay so if you want to change one cabinet you may just click on one of the cabinet then right click you can go for material also cabinet material so in here maybe you choose a different material like if you want white color you choose white okay so you can choose one by one or use all also can up to you okay if you want to play with one banner okay you can also click b on your keyboard boy okay you may see this one called board selection you can select the board then you change the material Okay. For here, the material you can choose any material you like or you prefer. So maybe I'll choose something uh, this one. So you can see this is how you change one banner. Okay. However, uh, once you're done, remember exit, press the exit button. Uh, then you can select back other things to be original. Okay. So let's say the sliding door, I want to change the material. You see here, I click on it. It just show product category. It's not a banner. So I may need to click board selection, select the banner. I see part. Then you can see the pink color, same as it. Then you can change the material. Okay, maybe I choose glass. Okay, let's choose uh, clear glass. So later you can see through uh, like this one or clear glass. Okay, but now you cannot see. Never mind. When you do rendering, you can see. Okay, so another pattern up to you. If you want mirror, also can choose mirror. Uh, maybe glass. Then at the back here, you will see mirror. Uh, mirror. If you like it, mirror, you can select. Okay, so after you're done, just exit. Remember, I told you, once you're done with the function, would exit. Okay. Okay. So guys, if you lazy, right, you also can use this button also, style, here. It may help you when you have no idea, then you can just choose it. Computer Air House will help you just decorate it, okay? Uh, so maybe the sliding door, I change it a bit, lah. Oh, mm, right click on it, uh, click on it, or click on the frame, lah. Oh, click on the frame. Maybe I choose the different style, so make it more match. I choose this one. Mm, this color not bad. The one I want glass, so you can look through my groups. Mm. Okay. 
So if you have some error, you can just click on it, uh, change the size also, add 200, okay, just add the number. Remember use B solution, solution. and a flame, I don't like this one, so I'll, I'll just change it here. This one the flame I want some frame material aluminium coat general never mind here got a lot matter usually light black color okay hey control Z oh if you think if you do the thing wrong right never mind you can click control Z make sure you select the sliding door setting first then only you change the frame oh, or else you will like me change the material okay so the this one i'll change back the material first look nice okay if you want to add lighting just right click your lighting yeah guys or oh, uh, in the function part okay okay now i'm gonna teach you how to group it uh. you can control so uh you can control select it okay Okay, click on here first, control select it. Okay, to so make sure it's stable. Then control G, press control G. Then you may see combine already. Okay. And here you may see blue color. Blue color means combine success. Okay. So here you can give a name. Maybe I put a hold up 30. Then I click favorite. Flavor is to help you save it, then you can drag out and use again. Okay, so we let it save first. Okay, computer will ask you where you want to put your category. You can add new category, then like wardrobe, this one, this one, this one, then click confirm. Okay, so I'll select wardrobe now. Or here, click confirm only. So my this wardrobe will save in here, flavor wardrobe. Then whenever I want to use back, I'll just drag this one back. Ah, the new one is a new creation. Just drag it out, then it will, you, you can use back. Okay. Okay, so this one is a group, guys. Okay, let's say if you want to modify it, you can hold your shift button or let's say I click already. You see when I select, it only show one part only. Okay, if what let's say I want to ungroup it, I need to select all, then only I can ungroup it. So you may hold your shift button on your keyboard, then select it. Uh, it will select like this, then only you can press Ctrl B to ungroup it. Okay, so make sure you remember, or else you cannot, you can only move, uh, or else, okay, you can only move one but all together. Let's say I press. You can move all together. You cannot move, move it one by one. You cannot modify it one by one. Okay? So make sure you remember that. Just press Shift, select it, Ctrl B, ungroup it. Then you can move, edit it one by one. Okay? So I'll delete this one first. Delete the whole thing. Okay? Coming up, we're gonna teach you how to export this wardrobe into the cat form. You can go through here. Export cat, uh, no. Okay, we come to here, cat. Okay. So you can see wardrobe. One click export. Hmm. Set the local file. Okay. After set the ID, then you can open it. Oh. Then you will see something like this. Oh. This one is the elevation you can use. Okay. So I exit first. Okay, exit first. Okay, exit. Beside uh, using that function, you also can use this one here. Uh, whole. Uh, here. Okay. Remark drawing. Or if you let's say you want some color, then you can use this one also. You may see frame blue frame here. Then uh, I will just click this one first. Hide all the thing. Then I only show this one called uh, wardrobe. Then I will use this one to adjust it properly. La. Or maybe I'll find the front view. Let's see which one. Uh. Okay. 
Ah, this one. Okay. Right view. Okay. So after that, you zoom in. Oh, then this one, you've got color or got material you can show. Okay. And you can just select the component or oh, then give it inner space or give it part size. Ah, then later, you can show to your carpenter also. Oh, you can select it. Select the, select the component. Then just select this one. Oh, part size. Okay. You can move it or you don't like the number, you can delete it. You can even delete all the number, then you plot yourself also can. Okay, this one are few thing, or if you don't want, uh, you want orthogon also can. Okay, up to you. And this one is a color diagram and with no color diagram. Okay, so I will just choose this one normal one color diagram and hide all the door first. Okay, so after that, if you think are uh, okay, right, then you can export here to output English drawing. Okay, so you may see this one the platform uh, the frame we gave you. Okay, you can you can come to here, call up, then you can plot yourself also can. Okay. Okay, and you can plot anything. You can change the number or you can lead this one for what laminate also can. Keep it a texture also can up to you. Okay. If you like it, you can click here, call up can save it add to remark drawing the next time you can use back you just download only or just download only then you can use okay this one all you can fill in the number the name all can fill in. okay so I'll just cancel it okay now we back to this one back to this one here if you want to change all the logo, right, guys, you can go to here. You want to change the logo, you can go to here. Uh, just go back to the main page. Go to Business Center. Okay, for the logo, you can come to here, Store Information. Here, the logo. So you can change all the logo according to the recommendation format. Okay. So just now we are in here, you can change your own company logo also. Okay. So now we come back to here, come back to this page. Okay. Uh, we're gonna teach you how to decorate the master room right, by using the model in cloud. Okay. The public here. Okay. So you may go for 2D first, then come to this one called combination. Furniture combination. Okay, we learn from the combination first. Huh? Bedroom combination. Then you see which uh, combination you prefer, then you can just drag. So I'll prefer oh, this one, maybe. Oh, yeah, I prefer this one. Okay, just drag out first. Okay. Then usually air house will stick the back head to the wall. Okay, usually. So you can move it, uh, automatic stick to the wall. Okay. However, some of them you see conflict with the wall. Computer told you already what we can do, follow the instruction. So you can hold your control, then release it. Okay, hold your control. Okay, then release it. So this one you can change it also. Make it zero. Okay. So don't worry. Hold control button can break all the rules. Okay. So you can go back to the room. Okay. Back to the room here. Okay. So first thing you can see, this model we drag from here are combination. Like the wardrobe I teach you, they are blue color. So this one are blue, they are grouped together. So how to ungroup it? Same method, just using Ctrl B. Uh, when you click Ctrl B, you will automatically separate. Okay. So now we can modify each of the item. Okay. So let's say uh, the table lamp, I'm going to show you. Let's say this table lamp, you're going to move a bit. You can click here to move it. Okay. We have three button here. Z is move icon. You can see this one Z move. Okay, move it. However, if you move in AI house, usually you will drop to the floor. This one is all by setting Okay, like a gravitation. Okay, and here you can do control button to move it up also. Oh, so then uh, it can break the rules. Control button. Hold control button only. If it didn't hold, then you will drop. Okay. 
So you can also select it, press button X or X on the keyboard. You may see this one. You can rotate it as you want. Okay. Or press button C, you can resize it. Although here you can change the size. Okay. Here also you can change the size by click the rectangle or here the number. Also can, no problem. Okay. So click back the X, move back it. Okay. You can also copy the thing, you can select the item, then press Ctrl V. Ctrl V can copy or press hold the shift button on the keyboard, move it. Uh, hold the shift button on the keyboard, move it. Also can copy this one. Okay. If you still don't like the table lamp, you can just select it, select this picture here. AI House will automatically suggest you the product related to it. Okay, so you can see which table lamp you prefer. I think this one will be better. Okay, so you can select this one also, change it. Just select it. Or automatic replace. You don't need to delete, then drag again. No need. Or just select it, select the picture. Okay. Okay. So let's say if you want to hide the thing, hide the thing. Uh, let's say this, uh, this one, I want to hide it. So I click hash button. Button hash can help you hide. And you go to display, scheme object manager, you may see everything hide will be here. Okay, so if you want it back, you can click this one display. It will show back. Okay. And here is all the thing displayed inside the apartment. Okay, if you want to see something outside, right, then you can come do something like this. Just move the table lamp outside. Uh-huh. Then here you may see the table lamp at outside. Okay. So if you don't want, you can delete it. Uh, delete it, then you will delete. Okay. This will help you check, uh, manage your item line in the three D. Okay. So this one, I'll just shift copy back. Okay. Okay. Coming up, we're gonna teach you how to flavor the thing. Uh, you can click on here. You may see star. So when you click flavor. The thing will flavor collected, then next time you can use, reuse back. So let's say I flavor, then you create the category, same as just now. Uh, this one I will put wow, so many like, table lamp, correct. Okay, so next time when I want to use back, I can come to flavor here. Uh, like, like, like table lamp. Uh, then I can drag out and use. Okay, so we. Uh, we can flavor from here. Uh, you can see here all the item here got star, oh, star. Okay, we can flavor. Okay, and maybe you can go to here, uh, design market. Hey, no, design model. Okay, design model here. You also can flavor the item. You see, got star. You can collect. Okay, and if you uh, let me set first. Control S. Okay. You can also go to sample or anything inside the uh, this schema. Okay, you can flavor it also. Okay, open the scheme. Okay, okay, then we can uh, go inside. Okay, see anything you like, then you can flavor it. Up. So maybe you like this one, or then you can flavor it. Okay, on the sofa you like, you can flavor it. There are lots, uh, a lot of uh, method lah, to use. Lah, okay, so I'll go back to the scheme just now. My scheme. Look back uh, my, 30 day, my 3 days. Okay, open. Okay, a few moments later. Ta -da! Okay, back to here. Lah. Okay, we continue here first. So uh, beside you can flavor the thing you want. So next time you can drag out easy in here, right? You also can come to here. You may see uh, this one. Or the search button. You can type search. Maybe you type fence. Then you will show fence. Uh, or, okay. or you just click this one also can. You can click on the picture. Or using picture search method. 
So I'll search picture by using uh, this one of the normal one. Okay. This chair, click open. Okay, then just drag out only not the model looks similar, drag out then you can use. Okay. So we got a picture search or color search also can. Or you can see and eh, no color search, I'm sorry. Uh, just material. Okay, let's say this chair are here, then you can click on this one, you can search the color. Mm. So convenience for you lah, huh? you can just supply here, get a reset. Okay. So coming up, we're gonna talk about uh, this one, the wallpaper, or the wallpaper, so that help you to uh, adjust it. Okay, you can come to here, the wallpaper, uh, this one, wallpaper. Okay, you can drag out the wallpaper, then you can adjust it in here. Everything are here now. Oh, so you can maybe make the size bigger. So for the height, I put three thousand. Okay, then you can X Y rotate it also can, so you can rotate it X Y. Just adjust it up. Okay. Okay. This one is for the wall information. Okay. You can click here also can horizontal split. Ah no no. Okay, so if you want to put different color in one wall, you can try this one also. Split it, or then you uh, put on it become red color. Then put on it, you can change the distance. Or change the distance. Then you can put other color. But for the wall color, you may use lake color. Okay, just drag on it. You can use this one also horizontal split. Okay, right click, then mouse point on it, red color, then you can change the distance. Simply drag other button. Also can. Okay. Or if you don't like it, select it, delete. Or, or if you don't like the wall, select this one, delete. Okay, select it, delete. Okay. This one can help you clear the material. Okay. So the for the or this one, I will just uh, do a simple one. I'll drag this one, simple one. Okay, and for the uh, floor also same guys. Or you can just drag any tiles you want from here. Uh, you can see ceramic tiles. Okay, so here got a lot of tiles pattern. Okay, you can drag out put here. Just drag a simple one. Uh, maybe you can change the size also if you want. So you can come to here, change the size. Maybe I want a rectangle one. Or you can change the size. Or I'm take the proportion. Make it 600. Also can. Or still up to you. Lah. Okay. And here you can use this one also border. Just add on border here. Okay. Then you can change the size of the border. Maybe this one I'll put 300. Add another border also if you like. Okay. Then I'll maybe put other four tiles also. Okay. I'll put white color. White color. Color tiles. Put something black. Okay. So up to you lah. The tiles are same method uh, by using this button. Just drag out and you can change the size. Rotate also everything here. Okay. Okay, coming up we got a curtain. Oh, we need to uh, put a curtain here. Okay, this one are uh, finish uh, for the wet work uh, mostly. And this one are furniture, those uh, furniture are important one. This one are decoration, those decorate for the room. Or uh, usually are under here decorate. So you can go for this one and curtain. So you can see which curtain you like, then you just drag it out. Uh, maybe I drag this one. Remember, drag on top of the item. Lah. Also, usually you will adjust like this. Okay. Yeah, move it a bit. Okay. And one more thing, guys, uh, I would like to let you know uh, 
maybe this one also okay let me just adjust this one first okay portion one the line Here. press C la. usually I like to press C to adjust it okay so you can see uh, some of the product especially new uh, we got this one edit material oh, this one will help you to change the material okay even though this one uh, a curtain or white color is set default but never mind it can change other material so by using ball here okay uh, maybe I'll choose some fabric, mm -hmm. uh, something like this. Okay, just drag, drag on it. Uh -huh. Okay, so you can see this one. You can drag, so we can drag this one here. You can see, so that we have different color. Uh -huh. Oh, sorry, ah, uh, opposite. <laughs> so this one, if not light, nice, right? You can drag. Drag white color put here, drag this one blue color put here. Oh, you can drag other material. Oh, this is another way. Okay, you can undo or reset everything right here. Okay, reset. So maybe I drag something, make it look uh very soft. This one, put this one here and this one put here. Okay. Then I click the button set. Quick. So you can see how the material has changed already. Lah. Just simple as that. Okay, for material changing, right? Not only uh, this method, you click here, you can click edit. Okay, you also can drag material to the item. Okay, let's say you go to crowd here, then you may see uh, here got universal material library. You can drag any material you want. For example, uh, let's say a fabric. Okay, I'll drag one put here. Oh, also can. Okay, so when you see the item that don't have edit material, you may need to drag it. Okay, just drag and put inside. Oh, like this. The item okay, okay. Coming up, we're gonna do the ceiling now. For the ceiling, you may need to go to 2D, okay. Then uh, you may need to come to here, la. okay. Uh, this one, ceiling, okay. We're gonna drag one of the ceiling, put inside, okay. We can choose uh, ceiling something like this, uh, huh? so this one will be put here, la. oh, this one, okay. Just drag in, put here first, okay. Uh, you may need to adjust it lah or so I'll uh, using the lazy button this one spread okay so you will spread automatically uh, with rectangle only so this one will be empty never mind later I will modify it so I'll go for room first okay this one are uh, on top right never mind okay you can move it down a bit or move it down a bit but first make sure your skill are correct lah. Okay, so this one, this one, this one here. Ah, this one I may like it to go there. So I may just hold control button, move it. Okay, mm, something like this. Then we move it down. Okay, so this one how to move it correctly with a specific number? You just press C button. You may see this one. Let me see. Okay, move it down first. Okay, let's say I press C button in here. Click on it, press C. Ah, you can see this one. So uh every floor I'll put 3000. Uh, so this one I will make it 3000 also. Can you see something like this? Okay. So this is the ceiling I choose. Or uh next uh maybe next few top modular we'll talk about ceiling custom -made. So you can custom it ceiling we are own that time so after you drag this uh, ceiling first then you may need to go for lighting so all the lighting are here especially the down light oh, so just drag out okay drag out and move it 
structure of the field. Okay, you can just drag out and move it. So for field down line, you can go here, click on it, control shift. One, two, three. Okay. In the middle. Okay. Then you can copy it like this case. Okay, I'll hide my wall first. Like, oh, so for simply to design, I hide my wall first. Okay, this one come to here. Okay. So this one uh my yeah. Select it. Control select. Select okay, then control shift move it. Okay, hold control move it. So, your light have been done. If you want the icon, or you can get from here also icon domestic appliance air condition. So, depend on what icon you like, or I would like to use this one. Mm. Just drag only, or just drag only, then move it. Move it on top of it. Okay. So you have a modern room. Okay. And for the ceiling, if you want, you can move it down a bit. Like usually, uh, three thousand, right? Uh, yeah, forget one thing. Usually, will be uh, two thousand seven, uh, for the ceiling. Okay. Still up to you guys, okay? So that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye.